Hello and welcome to Chemistry in Your Cupboard. I'm Katie, an Education Coordinator for the Royal Society of Chemistry. Today we're going to have a race and see which food is the fastest. This investigation is called Racing Raisins and you can try this yourself with a responsible adult. So let's get started. For this experiment you'll need a clear fizzy liquid, for example soda water or you can use lemonade or tonic water, a tall glass or container, some food to test and a timer. Let's begin. First of all I'm going to pour my clear fizzy liquid and today I'm using soda water into my glass. Let's see what happens when I add a raisin. Wow, look at the bubbles. Now it's rising again. Raisins are more dense than soda water, so that's why they sink when I add them. The bubbles that we see in fizzy drinks are carbon dioxide. These carbon dioxide bubbles stick to the rough surface of the raisin. When enough bubbles are attached, they rise to the surface. At the surface, the bubbles pop and escape into the air. The raisin then becomes more dense again and sinks into the soda water. The raisin will continue to rise and fall until most of the carbon dioxide escapes. The first food in the race is a raisin. And now I'm going to time how long it takes the raisin to fall and then to rise to the surface again. Wow, four seconds. Next food in the race is a grape. Nine seconds. The next food in the race is a blueberry. I've recorded my results in the results table and you'll see that the blueberry is the winner at the least amount of time. You can race a variety of foods to see which is fastest. If you want to explore further, try choosing different types of food to compare. For example, compare fresh food with dry food. Or you can think about how rough or how smooth the surface of the food is. Or think about the surface area of the food, if it has a large surface area or a smaller surface area. Get creative and see what's in your cupboard. With a responsible adult, have a go yourself and try and find the fastest food in your kitchen and show us your results using the hashtag chemistry in your cupboard. We'll be back with more videos soon. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest chemistry in your cupboard episodes. Thank you very much and see you soon.